Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to work on question one and two of exercise 10.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. And this exercise is about graphs. About graphs. So the first question is showing hours of sunshine. And it is a pictogram. A pictogram is a type of graph that uses pictures to compare things or to compare data. So the pictogram over here is having a key. The key shows what each picture in the pictogram is showing. So the key here is a sun, which is showing one hour of sunshine. So it means if there is one picture of the sun, there is one hour of sunshine. We have the days which are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So there are two suns on Monday. It means there are two hours of sunshine. And three and a half suns. So it means three and a half hours. Half of the sun is showing half an hour, which is 30 minutes. And on Wednesday, there are five pictures of the sun. It means there are five hours of the sunshine on Wednesday. So we have some follow-up questions. Question A says, how many hours of sunshine were there in total on Monday and Tuesday? We know that we have two hours of sunshine on Monday and three and a half, three and a half hours of sunshine on Tuesday. So all together, it will be five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half hours. Okay. Question B says, how many more hours of sunshine were there on Wednesday than on Tuesday? So on Tuesday, we know that there are three and a half hours. And on Wednesday, there are five hours. So five hours minus three and a half hour will be one and a half hour more. One and a half hour more. So we can say one and a half hour more. One and a half hour more sunshine. Well, in part C of this question, it says, use the data to complete the following pictogram. The following pictogram. Let me scroll a bit down. So the bulletin shows that Saturday has seven and a half hour of sunshine and Sunday has two hours less than Saturday, two hours less than Saturday. And Friday has the same hours of sunshine as Saturday and Sunday added together. Saturday and Sunday added together. So we know that for Saturday, there are seven and a half hours. Seven and a half and Sunday will be two hours less than seven and a half will be five and a half hours. Five and a half hours and Friday has five and a half hours plus seven and a half. So we will write five and a half plus seven and a half. So five and a half plus half will be six and six plus seven will be 13. So there are 13 hours of sunshine on Friday. So the key for this also, I will use the sun. I will draw the sun and show that each picture of the sun is showing, each picture of the sun is showing, let's say two hours. Two hours of sunshine, of sunshine. Means one picture of the sun stands for two hours. So on Friday, we have 13 hours. How many pictures do we need? We need six and a half. One, okay, let me draw it nicer. Two, three, four, five, six, and another half of the sun, six and a half, which is showing 13 hours of the sunshine. And on Saturday, we have seven and a half. So we need three and a half pictures of the sun. So one, two, three. So over here, we know 
that if we have one picture of the sun, it shows two hours. If we have half picture of the sun, it shows one hour, one hour of the sunshine. And if we have one fourth of the sun, one fourth of the sun, it is showing half hour, half hours. So to show seven and a half, we will draw three fourth. We will draw three fourth of the sun, three fourth of the sun. Now it is showing seven and a half hours. In the same way, to show five and a half, we have to draw two complete picture of the sun, which is showing four and another three fourth of the sun. Another, let me draw it nicer or properly, three fourth of the sun, and this is showing five and a half hours of the sunshine. Well, we are done with question one. Let me scroll down to move to question number two. In question two, in question two, also we have two parts, part A and part B. So part A says, use this data to complete the bar chart, give the bar charts a title and labels. So now the data says the pet shop has one turtle, three rabbits, six fish, eight cats, and nine guinea pigs. So to show this information or this data on this bar graph, we have to first label and give the title. Okay, we can say the title is pet shop, pet shop, and the labels, let me scroll a bit down. Okay, the labels for the vertical axis will be number of pets. I will write like this, number of pets. This label is for the vertical axis and the horizontal axis is pets or the kind of pets or just pets. Number of pets on the vertical axis and pets on the horizontal axis. So now how many turtles do we have? We have one turtle. So we can make the bar graph for that like this. This is the bar graph for the turtle. The turtle. How many rabbits do we have? We have three rabbits. So for the rabbit, this can be the bar graph or this can be the bar. Let me shade it. Okay, we have three rabbits. And how many fish do we have? We have six fish. So six is here. We can draw it and we can shade it so that the bar should be visible. So that the bar should be visible. And how many cats do we have? We have eight cats. So eight is here. Okay, this is the number of the cats. And this is how the bar graph is formed. And nine guinea pigs, nine guinea pigs. So nine is here, I will shed it. Okay, this is the guinea pigs, which are done. And now based on the graph, we have some other questions, which is part B of this question. Okay, here it says, use the data on your bar chart to write two questions for your partner to answer. So I will write the question and you will answer. Maybe you give the answer in the comment section under the same video. The first question I say, how many, how many pets are there? How many pets are there all together? How many pets are there all together? So you have to find out how many pets are there. And the next one, you can make different questions. So the next question I ask is, which one or which pet has the highest, which pet has the highest, the highest number? Which pet has the highest number? So to find the answer to these two questions, you have to look how many pets are there altogether based on the graph and which pet has the highest number. Or maybe you can say which pet has the lowest number, which in this case can be the turtle. So you have to find the answer to these two questions and write them 
in the comment section under this video. So with part B of this question, we are done solving question one and two of exercise 10 one, which is about the graphs. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates, and also with your students if you're a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.